Kia ora e te whanau and Merry Christmas from all of us here at Rima. So, are you ready yet? The tree up, the lights hung, presents wrapped, halls decked, gay apparel donned, tick, 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 making a list, checking it twice. Isn't this the most wonderful time of the year? Look, I don't mean to cause you any more stress or panic, but this time next week will be the night before the night before, or the eve of Christmas Eve. That's only eight and a half shopping days to go, and in ten days it'll all be over and done with, apart from all that leftover ham, bean salad and Christmas cake. Don't worry, that will last for ages. Or maybe it's actually a big relief to realise that just ten days from now, Christmas 2021 will be behind us. Boxing Day. Time to head to the shops again for big bargain sales or perhaps return some of those gifts and hope that they have a novelty summer shirt in a slightly larger size. And after that, time to think about New Year's Eve or perhaps a summer holiday road trip if you can. Vaccine passports at the ready. Not entirely sure how welcome you'll be at your favourite holiday destination anymore, but rushing regardless to relive the good old days of Kiwi summers past in an attempt to put this whole year behind us. But honestly, you'd be forgiven for perhaps being just a little bit over it this year. Let's face it, it's been a tough one. I know we all thought last year was rough, but I can still remember that naive optimism at the end of 2020 that the good old team of 5 million had kicked COVID into touch and with vaccines on the horizon, the next year was going to be pretty great. But the harsh reality for many of us as we limp towards the end of 2021 is a feeling of uncertainty rather than hope. Instead of peace, we feel stressed. Rather than joy, we struggle with disappointment. And instead of feelings of love for our fellow Kiwis, our communities, churches and even families are divided. Whilst it's normal to experience a bit of pressure in the build-up to Christmas, a short burst of frenetic activity before the celebration and hopefully a holiday to recover afterwards, this year for many, the stress started months ago and has been unrelenting, with not a lot of hope that the new year brings us much to be optimistic about. Despair, like COVID-19, is highly contagious and with no vaccine available. The problem is that hope actually turns out to be an essential service, something that we cannot live without. In the book of Proverbs, we read that hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is like the tree of life. As we head towards Christmas again, just over a week away, our real hope is the eternal hope that we have in Jesus. This hope that we have, the very reason for our frantic celebrations next week, is also highly contagious and continues to spread all over the world. But instead of suffering and death, it brings joy and eternal life. Let's celebrate the birth of hope and joyfully pass it on to those we love this Christmas. Kia ora tato. Nā mihi nui kia koe. Mātewa.